Words are the tools of writers. Their thoughts are the canvas, and the words are used to paint a picture. I'm not a writer. I see what I see, and then I try to convey what I see. I do what a trained monkey can do. Yet, I do have a sense of appreciation for art, the creative side of things. I can appreciate, for example, what Columbus must have felt when he wrote the first written words about Jamaica. He wrote, and I quote, The fairest lands that eyes have ever beheld, mountainous, and the land seems to touch the sky, end quote. In coming to Jamaica in 1494, on his second voyage, he could not have known in landing what an amazing lifestyle the native peoples of Jamaica were experiencing. The Arawaks were living a life of Riley, so to speak. The women cooked, kept their homes clean, and made clothing. The men hunt and fish and smoked in their hammocks, their hammocks. Oh, what a life. As you can see, food and flowers and beauty everywhere. Here we are in the 21st century, and I can visualize what life must have been like for those Amerindians just by being here in St. Mary, Jamaica. The Arawaks had no cars, but why would you want to go anywhere? And they had no television. But then, why would they want to even watch artificial life when reality is so magnificent? Isn't it ironic that the very rich work all their life so they can resort back to a lifestyle very much like the Arawak Indians? Private, secluded, and away from the everyday noise of the unimaginative people in pursuit of all things artificial. Enjoy these snapshots, all taken within 50 yards of where I sit, and visualize with me what life was like in 1494 and what life is like in the 21st century.